folks, we're here at the table of a hmm, very prestigious Italian carver, a Morelli of Italy, and his pipes have actually been owned by a number of uh, very high profile people, starting from the Pope to the King of Saudi Arabia to uh, Bill Clinton, who's playing a saxophone on his uh, tobacco packing briar. Mm -hmm. And here's the man himself making some of the most beautiful pieces the world has seen and yet to see. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'd want to tell us your pipes are a work of art. What is your philosophy when you try to create briar? Uh, Ho iniziato la filosofia della, della mia, sì. del mio lavoro. Io intanto ho iniziato molto giovane l'attività, avevo 20 anni, e non avevo esperienza, però ho sentito subito dentro di me una cosa che mi avrebbe portato a fare questo lavoro. Costruire una pipa è una cosa relativamente facile. Bisogna uh, eh, però uh, spiegare eh, che cosa mm. vogliamo dire con, uh, quando finiamo la pipa e la offriamo al, al fumatore o al pubblico. O, come avete visto prima, anche a una persona che non fuma la pipa. Cioè la pipa deve esprimere una, un sentimento, deve esprimere una sensazione. Eh, è un po' il nostro cuore, la nostra testa eh, quando facciamo la lavorazione che entrano dentro l'oggetto eh, devono essere delle cose che eh, devono essere lette, dalla, sentite dalla persona che riceve la pipa I have a feeling I understand the gist of what he was saying is that a pipe is supposed to evoke some sort of emotions, not just from the eye, but from the mind and from the heart. And when he creates a pipe, it always has an element of sentimentality and personal value, not only from the smoker, but from the carver himself that he tries to pass on to whoever has his pipe. That seems to be the gist of what he said. Che parla italiano, but you know, a little bit of the words you were saying, I kind of merged as a fellow pipe smoker. That's exactly what he said with the exception that he started when he was 20 years old. Oh, okay. So he's been doing this for 37 years. Okay. And, you know, it's basically, you have to put your heart and soul into what you're doing. And, and it shows. It's, it, right, and that's, so you're not even an Italian translator and you're translating great. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. You see the creativity rubbed off. All right, there so you go. I to show these pipes, go ahead, sir. Questa, questa pipa, questa per, per esempio è un pezzo speciale, è, è, il, il blocco di radica è, è un pezzo molto raro, molto fiammato, gli esperti sanno che cosa voglio dire, like il, 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 like il bocchino Moftis è un materiale yes. speciale oh. in Canterland, fabbricato in Germania, la radica è cresciuta in Sicilia, quindi ha un carattere forte. E questa lavorazione, questo inserto, questa dimensione, questi due materiali, questo, questa protuberanza che serve per, per tenerla, per tipo una pipa molto grande, gigante, però leggera facilmente impugnato ecco. abbiamo voluto, voluto rappresentare così uno slancio una, un movimento in avanti no? il, il divenire I'm sort of feeling what he was saying, that even if a pipe is large, it still has to have a certain elegance that's present in smaller, graceful pipes. The lines of the briar can mesh with the lines of the mouthpiece. The briar itself comes from Sicily, if I'm not mistaken, and the ebonite from a very high-end factory in Germany. And when you combine good quality products along with an artistic flair, you do have a work of art. Well, then I'm taking a little license in translating. But he does this in all pipes regardless of sizes. It's perfect. Oh, thank you. Thank you. you speak Italian and, and you, you're not telling us about it. <laughs> I'm telling you. You know what he's saying. No, I, I'm trying to listen to 
he he knows what he's saying. It's amazing. He really, uh, I guess he you know he actually reads what he's saying by the way he's you know. You look at a combination of gestures. Yeah, I listen good, to man. the words. Because you're bailing me out, I wouldn't be able to say any of this stuff. I'm telling you. Thank you, thank you. No, but it's true. You can you know some of the technical aspects. He wants to show the tulip. This is very interesting. The tulip, right? The flower, the sí. rose. Yes. Tulipano, una rosa, ma non soltanto. Ecco, anche qui abbiamo utilizzato delle dei materiali differenti, da insoliti, materiali che vengono utilizzati per la pipa. Quindi abbiamo fatto degli innesti anche qui, insomma, con colori audaci, no? Questo viola, poi questo è un particolare, un dettaglio, quindi è un fiore in radica inciso con i laterali con i distanziali bianchi anche qui con il colore e, insomma ah oh, wow that's nice it goes through and through yeah it's not just a superficial design è un gran bel oggetto già anche questo insomma da ammirare da, da meditare da, da guardare quindi il tipo è un oggetto piccolo un oggetto che tu tieni in mano quindi deve, essere, deve soddisfare tutti i sensi dell'uomo, dell della persona, della usa, quindi quello gustativo, olfattivo, tattile, visivo, perché devi guardare, devi guardare una cosa bella che, e poi ti deve, ti deve dire qualche cosa. Ecco. E questo qualche cosa è quello che l'autore, l'artigiano, il creatore deve riuscire a dargli, dargli un carattere, ecco, se no rimane un pezzo di legno che, non ha, che ha una funzione di, di bruciare il tabacco, ecco, invece deve essere e molto di più. Yes, he actually tried to pass not only the form but the philosophy of the rose and there's a flower within a flower, a small flower, piccolo, like a piccolo ripasso, of a rose within a rose and that when you feel this it has the tactile the structural and the aromatic when it passes on the smell of the tobacco from the wood and the tobacco itself when you smoke it. So it sort of has like the characteristic of a flower in more than just a visual sense alone. And I, That's perfect. Thank you. Perfect. And this is another one like that, another yeah. flower yeah. tulip, yes? Just a different color. Yes, yes. They're beautiful. I like these. These are truly beautiful. Mm -hmm. And again, a flower within a flower. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. It's a whole philosophy of making pipes. It's like form within function, style within substance, and then through and through. I was saying that for all the truly great he, pipe makers. Yeah, it's and basically what he's saying is, you know, uh, a, a bra the briar starts out as a, a piece of wood, and then it's what the artist makes of that piece of wood, and this is what he made of, of it. Yes. Queste lavorazioni alla pipa abbiamo dato il nome di Bohemian. No? Quindi, no. He wants to liberate Very it. Bohemian. Very Bohemian. Bohemian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mentre yeah. yeah. questa lavorazione abbiamo dato il nome di Extraordinary. In effetti, I like this. Yeah, yeah. In effetti è una, è una lavorazione veramente straordinaria e con diversi colori. Anche qui insomma c'è un imprimato, c'è una, una carica, una forza, una... ovviamente sono tutte creazioni nostre, eh, delle, delle invenzioni, insomma chi le usa eh, è fiero, orgoglioso di, di far vedere. Poi ecco un dettaglio, tutte le nostre pipe hanno questo segno di riconoscimento. È un, lingottino in oro e, che insomma lo riconosci lo vedi anche a distanza anche a distanza di tanti anni rimane sempre lucido e quindi oltre che a, a identificare eh, le nostre pipe serve per allineare eh, l'imboccatura mouthpiece con il corpo della pipa con il cammino è molto bello no? perché lo fai a linea no? così è centrato ed è perfetto ecco vedi? 
The logo aligns yeah. perfectly with it to make a continuation of a bar. A single gold bar. Yes. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. I was going to say, is there anything you can tell us about this pipe? See, this looks almost mythic. This is incredible. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. Actually, you should be holding it. But this is this almost looks like it's out of a Renaissance painting. I mean, <laughs> something that, you know, uh, Leonardo da Vinci would be he smoking called, himself. He calls it his pe peace pipe. Peace pipe? Yeah. Oh, peace beyond Chinupa. 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 Ah, the Chinupa pipe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you can tell us a little bit about this piece, it's truly extraordinary. I mean, it's a huge piece. It's probably all about two feet. Yeah. Very nice. ricordare questo lavoro per guidare, insomma, per tornare al ricordo del significato che può avere uno dei tanti significati che può avere la vita. It has two gold bars, there's one sì, here, and there's another one here. Yes, you can take that piece and uh, la parte salivino che sarebbe... To drain the saliva. Per svuotare la perugio, la perugio. Keeps it a drier smell. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a very long, it's a very long piece, mouthpiece. You need a special cleaner. You need a special mouth cleaner. Mm -hmm. A mouth cleaner, but you would need a really, really long one if you if you weren't able to take it apart. Right, yes. Yeah. Gorgeous piece. Very gorgeous. It's gorgeous, yeah. Yes. So basically this is your crown achievement. These are like your best pipes. This is your best. This is an incredible work. Beautiful. This pipe, one of many meanings and significance, um, a testament to the creativity and the genius of the artist at hand. Truly uh, a piece uh, of major importance and uh, hope for peace in the world because if it's culture that holds together society, maybe peace will save the world. We'll see. Take care. Oh, that's really cool, man. You guys are